Many Republicans and Democrats across the country agree today's state Supreme Court race will be the nation's most consequential election of 2023. Whoever wins will determine whether liberals or conservatives control the state's highest court, and with that likely means decisions on issues like abortion access and legislative maps. Newswatch 12's Matt Weaver joins us live in the studio with more, Matt. Well, Dan and Jessica, while most spring elections are pretty quiet, not this one. The ballot includes the most expensive state Supreme Court race in U.S. history, adding up to $42 million. Today, voters turned out to the polls across the Northwoods. That includes here in Rhinelander at the Hodag Dome. Patty Fitzgerald works at the polls there. Well, of course, I feel like all the elections are important. This one is important and has actually got national attention because of the Supreme Court race. And so it might have a little higher turnout than perhaps an, an ordinary April election. The election brought out voters young and old. The ones that Newswatch 12 spoke with emphasized the importance of using their right to vote. There's a lot at stake, and uh, I just feel that it's my patriotic duty to uh, do whatever I can to correct things and to make things better in the world. The polls held a steady turnout, drawing close to 600 voters by 11 a.m. this morning, including absentee ballots. About 20 percent of the state's voting age population cast ballots in the February primary. In addition to the seats available on the state Supreme Court, the Rhinelander ballot also includes school board candidates, the United County judge, and additional referendums as well. The polls opened at 7 a.m. this morning and will remain open until 8 p.m. tonight across the state of Wisconsin. Then the tallying will begin.